Hey y'all, here is your video for Monday night, September 14th, and it's going to go just like your other videos have gone, where we're going to demonstrate one of the principles of design, and then I'm going to ask you to do that in your home, take a picture of it, and upload it on Classroom where I ask you to. So, hold on. My dog opened the door. Um, so I want you to find a surface in your home. So I'm going to use this shelf. Um, and I want you to either, um, it could already be decorated and you can take a picture of it and tell me if it's symmetrical or asymmetrical balance. Or it'd be way cooler if you decorated it yourself with whatever items you want. Um, and tell me if you're decorating it symmetrically or asymmetrically. Um, so we could just leave it at that, or we could talk about how bringing in something from our elements of design, how when you use forms in a design, you have to follow some of those rules about form, like form follows function, um, similar objects are more pleasing to the eye, and the one about um, a gradual change in height is more pleasing to the eye also. So that's something to really consider here, and I'm using this shelf because um, it's really close up to where the wall meets the ceiling up here because um, the ceiling like like angles down up there. Um, so that's something you have to like consider when you've got a short space and using tall objects. So if we wanted to make it super symmetrical, um, I've got some books that are identical. We might put them here and then identical books on top and we might put identical picture frames on top of our books like that um one frame's slightly bigger than the other but we're going to pretend they're the same because i already said i don't have symmetrical stuff because that's not me um and then maybe you have something you know in the center of it um, if I had two more identical objects, I could put like one on each side, but I don't. So we'll say, you know, that is symmetrical. That is designed symmetrically. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we want to do an asymmetrical design next. Maybe that's what you want to do. Um, we could just like shift a little bit. Something like that, where you've kind of got like your one collection of items and then your other collection of items. Okay. Um, but let's talk about how the height of these items with the, the gradual change in form um, is important. So if I were to like draw a line along the tops of these, um, they're not like crazy height differences, okay? Um, but I want to change something up for you so you can think about this. If I switched out this candle holder with this much taller candle holder, it almost touches the ceiling up there, that's way more, um, way more like not a gradual change in height. Um, it's, it's kind of like too much change. So you kind of want them to be shorter, like the first version of the other candle holder. So as you are using your principle of design balance, I want you to think about how you can apply your elements of design, like form and its rules and how lines go um, and how like textures and patterns can go against each other. Also think about where you're placing colors um, because like, Looking at this, what I'm seeing is there's two white things over here and there's two pink things over here. That's not good. Um, it would be better if we switched a pink thing and a white thing. And then we have evenly spaced out our colors on this, uh, this, this design. 
Um, so that's how you kind of apply your elements to your principles. Um, that's how they work together. That's how your principles are rules on how to use your elements, okay? Um, so find yourself a surface. It doesn't have to be a shelf. It could be a mantle. It could be a dresser top. It could be your bathroom vanity. Um, it could be just a shelf. Um, if you really just can't find a surface, I don't care if you just line your stuff up against the wall on the floor. Um, and I don't care what your items are. It can be a cup of pins. You know, it doesn't have to be like super duper cutesy. Um, it can be whatever. If it's like if figurines are what you have. Um, I just want you to show me that you, you know the difference between symmetrical balance and asymmetrical balance. And show me that picture and no one will see it but me. Just prove to me that you know it. 